got to improve on things we just did, and that is not miss the first three. This is Beth Peck. All the way in, leaves it nicely. Pulling up, short shot, good. And a shot from the Wausau East Gymnasium. It is Wisconsin Valley Conference basketball. And on this a Friday evening, it is the Crosstown rivalry. Wausau East hosting Wausau West. And we're getting started right away with the introduction of the starting lineups, the home team will be in their white uniforms with the red and black numerals and trim. The Warriors in their visiting blue will be introduced first and Brandon Clausen, Mitch Mahalski, along with Logan White, Nick Adrian and Dave Bagby will be the five starters for head coach Lemons. Nate Lemons assisted by Kip Downing and for Wausau East, the head coach coming off a great year last year, Paul Demka, got as far as the sectionals last year with his group, but they all graduated. It's pretty much a new lineup this year, and for them, it's Trey Bookberger, number two, a junior, Ryan Keefe. Ryan Keefe is a freshman, is number five. Ryan Lassert, a junior, number 11. Ryan Lassert is in the Valley stats right around the eight to 12 area in the Wisconsin Valley in all categories for Wausau East. He's basically the only one that shows up in those categories. Forrest Kronberger, their junior, 6'2", number 22 just introduced, along with Gabe Krieger, Krieger, one of the leading rebounders at 6'4", sophomore, and he wears number 35 in the Valley Conference. Now these teams are hungry for, that's an easy word to use, coming in, East is 0-8 in the Valley, 1-15 overall. West is 1-8 in the Valley. Their only Valley win was over East by a couple points at West right after the holidays. They are 3-14 overall and both teams had success last year especially East so you know when you look at a program you graduate everyone you can't go out and recruit typically you know they can't say well the Valley top recruiting team it had to be Spash the last few years but Spash on top in the Valley as we get underway here at the East High gym with West handling the first and the shot from the corner is off the rim no good rebound comes out to Wausau East with Denny Carey on the stats. I'm George Hirsch, Dave Dickinson, producer, editor, camera guy, you name it, he does it all. Here's a long three off the back of the rim. That shot was taken by Bookberger for East. So both teams now with a missed three as we get underway here at the East. Jim, we're taking a look at things from the uh, scores table side, the tape players, bench side of the court. West just trying to set it up. Their biggest problem has been scoring points this year. They average 46 points and they've given up an average of 63. So a big discrepancy there. They are not a tall team. Wausau West has Bagby at 6-4 and their next tallest at 6-1 is Logan White in their starting five. Now on the inbounds after the ball tipped out of bounds, West Retaining possession. East right now playing. Well, they're not playing a man. Well, they're matching up on a zone here is what they're doing. There's a jump shot in and out from the corner on the far side. So a couple of threes for West. That was my Mahalski missed. Nice pass down the court and Kronberger misses the shot. The second one tipped out of bounds. That was a nice feed by Keith, but Kronberger missed the bunny. But East will put it in play underneath their uh, basket to our left as we take a look at things. And they line up four in a line on the inbound. Sometimes they use a box, sometimes a four, and they pull it out on top to Bookberger. Bookberger sets it up now. Out on top. Little penetration, near side. Kronberger back out on top. They go around the other side. 
to Bookberger. Bookberger, pass inside Thornberger. And this time his shot is partially blocked. Rebound comes out, and we're going to have a foul. First foul in the game, either team, and it's on Gabe Krieger, the 6'4 sophomore, trying to get that rebound. We've used up some time, down to 16 left first half. 16 minutes. Neither, neither team has scored yet. They've each had two times down the floor. West opted for threes. He's tried to get it inside the second time around, but missed a couple of bunnies. Now we're going to have a backcourt foul on Dave Bagby for West. So each team now with a foul. That was uh, trying to pressure the inbounds pass. It didn't work for them. And this time down, Ryan Keefe, the freshman, will handle to the near side. And he gets around a screen from Bookberger. They get baseline to Bagby. Back out they go. Skip quickly to Kronberger. And off the glass too hard. Tipped up, followed up, and in by Bagby. I'm sorry, that was Krieger for East. So East is on the board first. Two nothing. From the corner, a three is good. Nick Adrian, the 5'10 senior, hits the three, and West with their first basket also takes a 3-2 lead. He's trying to get it inside. This is Keefe. Leaves it for Lassert. Now they come to the middle. Oh, a nice give and go. And it's going to be a foul before the shot. The way it looks. That's, it is a foul called. And that foul is on Logan White. So again, they line up the 1 4 inbounds. They go to Bookberger. Near side baseline, Keefe. Ryan Keefe. Thornberger, far side, three off the front of the rim. No good. Ryan Lassert missed the shot. He's one uh, among the best in the Valley for threes. Hasn't taken that many yet this year, though. Now well, West will settle down. Mitch Mahalski, first game this year at West. Mahalski was hot from three. And uh, he's about number nine in the Valley in that category. This shot was short by Adrian. And there's another three by Keith. In and out. Follow up. Good. Kronberger picks up his first bucket. And East takes the lead back 4-3. 14 left, 14 minutes left, first half. Neither team, a lot of scoring. Of course, they're struggling to win. Obviously, one team with three victories on the year, and the other with one. Oh, that's going to be out of bounds, tipped out of bounds by West. So East will line it up one more time. And they line it up across the lane, and they put it out on top to Bookberger. Here's a three by Kronberger. No good. Rebound. Comes out to Adrian. Quickly up court. Tipped out of bounds. West retains possession. Over in front of the West student section. West uh, visitors on the far side in the bleachers. Inbounds pass. Mahalski out on top. Adrian. They play catch. Mahalski open and off the front of the rim. A little short. He's the rebound. Ryan Lassert in the corner. He takes a three. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound comes out to White. And we've got a backcourt foul, I believe. Foul on number five. That's Ryan Keefe. Picks up his first. Well, we've had two fouls on the Lumberjacks now, five on West, and the score is four to three. So not much offense so far. Mitch Mahalski at the point. Now they go baseline. Turn around, shot is going to be short. Shot by Dave Bagby, who came up way short. So East. As a transition, right to left, 
Skip pass near side. And the shot is off the back of the rim by Keith. Rebound West, Mahalski. Mahalski, free throw line extended, baseline, in traffic, and he's fouled. Foul called on uh, Bookberger. That's three now on East. <coughs> now East, defensively one-on-one, -on -one. West uses the box inbounds to get it in there, and the shot is missed. Up close. But missing the shot was Bagby. So East has it. And they get it around to uh, Bookberger. Bookberger in penetration, pull up 10 footer, good. A pure short shot jumper for Bookberger. And East now up 6 3. As West has a three for their credit, nothing inside. Here's another three attempt. This is too hard off the back of the rim. Nick Adrian, rebound East quickly to Bookberger. Bookberger on the penetration, and the foul comes before the shot. Made the basket, won't count. And again, it'll be East out of bounds underneath their own basket. That's six fouls now on West, but not the bonus yet. So, in bounce, this time they go to the box. East instead of the lane. And they go back out to Bookberger. Now let's look. Around the west zone at the moment. A little bit of a matchup zone by West. And they finally do get Keith open, but he missed the shot. The rebound comes down to Krieger. Krieger is one of the leading rebounders in the Wisconsin Valley Conference. JV contests tonight, preliminaries. The West team's JV's boys won by one. The girls won by three over Wausau East. So had a couple of really, really good JV games here tonight, preliminary. Nice movement East and off the glass. Ryan Keith down the middle. Nice movement on that setup for East to get it in the lane. And they've had a couple of close up jumpers now and they're out to an eight to three lead. West, I think they've had one shot inside so far. Everything else has been threes. That's been their problem. Baseline, now they need to hit something, and they do. Nick Adrian, the senior for three. So their six points come with a couple of threes. And they're down by a pair. 11 minutes left first half. Wisconsin Valley Conference game. East looking for their first W in conference. West, their only win in conference play in the Valley, 17th Valley Conference, was over East at West early in January. Nice ball movement again, and open and hitting the jumper is Forrest Kornberger. East has the height advantage, 6-4, 6-2. Inside, and Kornberger, nice little baseline shot, about 10-footer. Here's a three, Mahalski, no good. Rebound East. Quickly. East loves to run if they can, and they do, and they score. Kornberger on a timeout West. Well, East is doubling up 12 to 6. Well, Wausau East has moved the ball well the last three, four times down the floor. And uh, West trying to mix up on defense. They've put a little matchup zone, some man-to-man. -man. On the other end, West has had, I think, one shot inside the lane. That's been it. A little statistics for you. Uh, in the Valley Conference, Stevens Point, seven and one, leading overall. They are 11 and five. They're three-time state Division I champions, and this year they're not even ranked in the top 10, but they've lost, you know, the Hausers and the Andersons, and so they've lost a lot of talent. Down on the bottom, first time I can remember, Wausau East and Wausau West in the conference. They've lost some tight ones. Both teams have lost some close ones. Um, West lost to Merrill in their last encounter. 
a wicket goal by just a couple of points. Uh, Wausau East has lost at least two that I know of by less than five. But again, their problem, and you can see it already here in the first half, scoring points, especially West. They don't have the height to get it inside. They don't have the muscle either in that inside. So it's, they have to hit it from the outside. And here's a travel call on West as we're back in play after the timeout. Ryan Lassert is third in three-point shooting in the Valley. And he so far has taken one shot and missed it. This is Keith popping out and off the back of the rim on the shot for East. Number 23, that's Kenny Smith, who's in the ball game now. And he took a shot right off the inbounds play. But now, we take a look at West again. They've got one player inside in the lane. And East is playing his own, and the shot is an air ball this time. But West gets the rebound, Mahalski. Back in the corner they go. Skip pass near side from Logan White. Back to the near side, and hitting the three is Drew Schock. Drew Schock, a senior off the bench, gets the three for the Warriors. And now it is 12-9, all the way in for the layup. Two points, no, they wave it off. They waved it off. A foul before the shot, apparently. Coming in now for the Lumberjacks, Trey Bookberger. He replaces number 21. We don't have a 21 on the roster. I noticed Jack Kane is not suited up tonight. He started at West, the junior. Well, turnover on the Lumberjacks. Another foul on them. It's an offensive foul. This time on Bookberger. He picks up his second foul. Neither team yet in the bonus. So West will head up the court, left to right. They will set up. Now this time, he's playing a one-on-one. -on -one. Mixing it up on defense. West trying a little motion offense, trying to get inside. They haven't been able to do it at all tonight once. Skip pass far side, penetration. Back out on the drive now with the shot off the rim. No good. Rebound on the missed shot by Logan White. Comes out to the Lumberjacks. And Lassert, two points from the free throw line. And... He's back up 14-9. Under eight minutes left, first half. Valley Conference contest from the East High Gym. And the cross on rivalry. Oh, somebody got somebody inside. The shot was taken by Logan White, and he will go to the free throw line. So we've got our first free throws, I believe, in this one. That's Logan White. The foul was on Kenny Smith. And White's free throw's good. Some substitutions for West. Bobby McCuckin, where's number 11? And for East, Gabe Krieger back in, number 35 underneath. In the post spot, across from Kohnberger. Second free throw, go. Logan White hits a pair, the freshman. And pulls him within three. East with the lead, 14-11. 7.40 left first half, they call out a play. Set up the pick, come to the near side. Kenny Smith sets a pick. For Lassert, back to Smith. Smith for three, off the back of the rim, no good. His counterpart, number 23, with a rebound. Logan White for West. Mahalski. Swings it around outside. The defense 
set up by East. Kind of packed it in. They're not letting. Here's a fadeaway jumper missed by Logan White. That's about as close as they've come to an uncontested shot. And Paul Dimka, the East coach, after seeing that last play, penetration is called a timeout for East. So Lumberjacks timeout. That's one for each team. And that's interesting. Down the clock now, they run down the clock. Full timeout. They show that instead of the time left in the half. So everybody can see how much time is left. We did not catch the officials' names or where they're from here tonight uh, prior to this game. But I've seen them before. Somewhere along the line, down the road. Yeah, Paul Demka, the uh, coach for Wausau East, is up by three, has the ball, but he just didn't like that what happened in that last play for West as they penetrated in the lane one of the few times here in the first half. And now for East, it's uh, Ryan Lassert, his partner. Ryan Keep, the freshman. Skip pass near side, Lassert three. There's a reason he's one of the top three-point shooters in the conference, and that was nothing but net. And he's back up by half a dozen. Swing it near side, Mahalski. Mahalski penetration. And somehow he gets the ball, picks it up, flips it over to McGuckin. And then they swing it around far side baseline, out on top, Mahalski. He'd love to get open. He's being guarded very, very closely by Smith, and now East gets the ball back again. So with six minutes left in the first half, we've got a 17-11 game. Both teams with five fouls, neither team in the bonus. Skip near side, Logan White is on defense of number 23, Kenny Smith. Now they go far side, Kohnberger. Kohnberger to Keith. Keep near side baseline. Smith, three, missed by Lassert. Well, he made one a minute ago. This one was off the rim and out of bounds. Back to West. Change in the Warrior lineup. Mitch Zahunas, a sophomore. Mitch Zahunas, 5'9". West just does not have the height. With the school size they are in basketball, to have lack of height that they have is incredible. And here's the travel. Nice, nice idea for West. They were trying to get Mahalski set up for a three, but you know, with the penetration and dish out, but a little extra step in there. Now, Nick Adrian, who started for West, is back in there, and he's replacing Mahalski. Give him a breather. Ryan Keith, freshman on the floor for East. Gets, plays a little catch with uh, Lassert. Now he gets it back from Smith, Kenny Smith. And now we're gonna have a foul. <coughs> Not a bonus yet, so East will put it in play underneath their own basket. They've done that at least a half a dozen times tonight. They line up back in there, one four. As you can see, this line them all the way across. They put it out on top to Lassert. Lassert on the penetration leads to Kronberger. Kronberger takes a dribble, nowhere to go. Skips it over to Kenny Smith. Back to Kronberger. Ryan Keith. Skip pass far side Smith. Skip back, back to, now they get it out to Kronberger for three. No, off the rim. Well, rebound comes out to Krieger. So they retain possession. See if they try to do this time. You can tell East has practiced <coughs> some of these things that they do. They do a nice job of moving the basketball around. And 
Arnold skip, use the skip passes. They use the penetration dish. Now they set it up again, start over this time. Ryan Lassert to Keefe. Back to Lassert. Lassert short off the rim. Gets the second. Follow up. He goes to the line for a three point play. Well, Lassert missed the first one. Came up a little short. Came right back to him and he put it back in and then he's fouled. And the foul. Brandon Clawson, who started for West, number three is back in there. Number three, Jackson Meyer, Jr., is in there now for East for the first time. And chance for a three-point play here. And the shot is no good. Now that foul was not on the shot. It was a different player, so it was actually a bonus shot for Gabe Krieger and he missed the first. So not a true chance for a three point play for the cert there. Penetration. West setting it up far side. McCuckin. Here's a south ball three. Brandon Clawson just off the bench. It's a three. West needed that one. Boy they needed that one. They hadn't scored for about six minutes. Now it's 19-14 East, three and a half left first half. This is game one of a doubleheader. The girls to follow here at the East High Gym. Penetration, baseline, nice job. Missed shot, blocked shot, now pulled out of there, and a foul. They're gonna call Hornus. It's a foul, it should be a bonus. Nope. They called it out of bounds off the harness, so it's not a foul. It's an inbounds east underneath their own basket again. This time they set it up far side. Lassert penetrates, nothing, nothing doing. He was taken out of that play in a hurry. A long, oh, missing the shot. The layup, Nick Abraham, he underlaid. He had good defense that time. The defender was right there. Would not let him get off the back of the rim the way he wanted to. Jackson Meyer gives it up for East. And the Lumberjacks now a little dribble basketball with Kenny Smith and Meyer. Meyer, a nice lob pass to Krieger. Open, assert, no good, up the back of the rim. Well, West on the return, Meyer. And Lassert, Lassert kicks it out of bounds, or tips it out of bounds away from McCuckin. It'll be West in bounds out of play underneath their own basket. And Brett Feck, I believe, is in there for West. We'll take a look here. Dave Bagby's back in, number 32. And a double dribble, a walk on Bagby. He's their 6'4 senior. Folks, that's it. They have a 6'4 senior. Their next tallest are 6'1, 6'1, 6'1. Well, I shouldn't say that. Brian Foltsy, a uh, senior, but he's on the bench. He's seven feet and one inch tall. But he doesn't play that much. And that has been a factor for West all year. Here's Meyer off the back of the rim on a three attempt. No good. Rebound. Krieger taken away by West. West trying to move it now. They're not setting it up like they were. Here's a three off the side of the rim. Follow up, almost tipped it, up a couple more times. Finally taken out of there by Bagby. Or Krieger, I should say, 35 for East. Bagby's a warrior. He was involved in that tip up thing. But on top, Kronberger. Keith, pass underneath. Nice job by Krieger, the sophomore. So he's back up 21 14. Minute 20 left, first half. Number four, Seth Cole, Jr., at the point. Whistle. And I think the foul is going to be on Keith. 
which would be his second. Not a bonus yet. Kenny Smith back in for East, along with Ryan Lassert. Oh, nice inbounds play, and oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound West. <coughs> they can't afford to miss those. Beautiful inbounds play. They set it up for an easy bunny, and uh, not using the glass, it just went over the rim. But West retains possession. Now they throw it away. Well, East leads it three touchdowns to two right now. With 50 seconds left here in the first half. East with the ball. Neither the team scoring much. Needless to say, Ryan Lassert. Gabe Krieger. Jackson Meyer. Baseline Krieger. Lassert, little fader. Good. Got the roll. Little fade shot coming in. He flipped it over the top of the defender. Now he's up by nine. That's their biggest lead here in the first half. 23 to 14. And West wants to go for the last shot here of the half. And they're facing a the one-on-one -on -one defense. On the dribble, going all the way in. And maybe they got a foul, which will send somebody to the free throw line with six seconds left. Yep. Balls on number 11, Ryan Lassert. That's his first, team seventh. On the line, bonus throw, Nick Adrian, the senior. And boy, do they need some points. Marcel West down by nine. And his first free throw is good. They've had a few threes. They've had a couple of buckets and a few free throws, 15 points and a half. The Warriors. And his second one is also good. So they did get within seven here. East has another Lassert long one. No, rooms out. No good. That's it for the half. We've played a half of uh, Valley Conference basketball game at the East High Gym and the score. Also, East, the host team 23, visiting Warriors 16. Danny Carey working on the stats. When we come back, we'll have first half statistics and then action for the second half. We got to improve. And we got to improve on things we just did, and that is not miss the first three. This is Brett Peck. All the way in, leaves it nicely. Pulling up, short shot, good. And a shot. We are back here at the East Side Gym, and we just witnessed a standing ovation for an elementary school jump rope group, the Riverview Spinners, who brought this crowd to their feet. And we were over watching, you know, Riverview is a feeder school for East and we watched the each students to our right, and I'm sure there were a number of them that were part of the spinners when they were at Riverview, if that's where they went. And that program, that spinners, if you haven't seen them, if you can get a chance, you know, you can find out when they're performing <coughs> for public groups or other schools by giving Riverview School in Owasa a call. That group, the spinners started back in 1997 and prior to that, there was a spinners group out of Stevens Point that would come to places like Wausau to perform. And when that disbanded because the coach retired, the spinners at Riverview took over. And they have become an institution. In statistics now, first of all, for West, 16 points, eight of those by Nick Adrian with a couple of threes. A three for Bruce Schock, a three for Brandon Clawson, and a two for Logan White. And some free throws thrown in. For um, East, they are a little more balanced. Ryan Lassert with uh, seven points. 
Forrest Kronberger and Gabe Krieger with six apiece, and those are usually putbacks or inside. Lassert, one of the leading three-point shooters in the conference with one three, and Trey Bookberger has a two. So 49 points on the board in the first half. We're set for the second half to get going right now. These teams are desperate for a win coming in. West with one win in the Valley, East with uh, none. And that one win for West was over East at Wausau West, and that was by a couple of points back first part of January. Second half underway with Denny Carey, Dave Dickinson on camera, I'm George Hirsch, and we have Valley Basketball boys. This is a doubleheader. We'll have the girls' game for you two to follow. East with a possession of a seven-point lead. Their biggest lead has been nine at 23-14. There's a shot taken and missed by Bookberger, but East gets the re rebound back and on possession. Here's a three <laughs> by Kronberger. He's tried a few tonight coming out from underneath, trying to get some of the defense to move out with him, I suspect, but hasn't had the success yet. So now West with their first possession second half. And on the penetration, drop back, shot, good. Mitch Mahalski. So Mitch picks up his first basket. And he's the one that was the difference in their win at West earlier with the threes. He was red hot. Pass inside and a foul. We're going to have a positioning foul on, I think, number 23, Logan White, the freshman. Well, they call it on Bagby instead, the senior. His second. Inbounds pass, Kornberger missed the shot. Rebound, gets it back, puts it back up, misses that shot. Now West comes out of there with a rebound and the foul on one of the Lumberjacks. So three shots underneath for East, and they could not convert. And it's going to be a foul on Krieger, his second. So both teams with a foul here in the first hour, or first, first minute, 15 seconds, second half. West on possession, another whistle. And... Push off, number three, Brandon Clausen. Turns the ball over to East. That's Brandon's first. Not a lot of fouls called tonight. In fact, we just got to the bonus in the first half. Both teams with seven fouls in that first half. East with the basketball. This is Lassert. Kronberger, baseline. Keith out to Bagby. Not Bagby, I'm sorry. Here's a three shot. Oh, nice block out, but a nice follow up is Lassert, the junior. It's interesting. The West player did a great block out on the one that he had to defend, but Lassert was uncontested, and that's where the rebound went. Here's a shot that's missed by Mahalski. Rebound Keith. Keith. Krieger, penetration, Lassert, two points. Ryan Lassert, a junior. Both of these teams struggling this year. I don't remember a year when the Wausau two schools were the bottom of the valley, but that's the case this year. And uh, this is why it's such a big game for both teams here. Free throws coming up on the foul on Krieger. And the first free throw is good for Logan White, the freshman. And coming out now for East is Gabe Krieger, sophomore. These both teams, of course, are young. I mean, they had to replace a lot of seniors, both of them, and especially East. Both free throws good for Logan White. He comes out, and Bobby McCookin, senior, replaces him. East with Bookberger, a junior. Well, I don't think we have a senior on the floor for the Lumberjacks right now. 
This is Kronberger. That's the bunny. Rebound West. On the penetration, nice pass. And missing the shot, Brandon Clawson, but he's gonna go to the line, shoot a couple of free throws on the foul. As the foul is called on Kenny Smith, his second. Timeout, 30 second timeout. I believe it's East, yes. Paul Demka called the timeout from the Lumberjacks. They are up 27 to 20. They led 23-16 at the half, so we've played a good portion of the second half and both teams have scored four points. It's been that kind of a contest. We talked about the East roster being young. They don't have a senior that has played yet tonight, Owasso East. Not one, a couple of them on the bench, but they haven't played. And then for West, Mahalski's a senior, Clausen is a senior, McCulkin and Shock are seniors, and Nick Adrian's a senior, and Dave Bagby's a senior. They have more seniors, but they also play a sophomore and a freshman. And the southpaw, Brandon Clawson, hits the free throw. So it's a six point ball game, 15 minutes left in the second half from the East High Gym. This is a Wisconsin Valley Conference contest. And these two teams are at the bottom of the standing. A oh, nice three, Ryan Lassert. Ryan, you can tell he's shot a few threes in his lifetime. He shoots and he heads down the floor like it's gonna go in. A lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. Here's another three for Wes, and this one's off the rim, no good. That shot taken by Nick Adrian. So East possession now, baseline, Keefe misses the two. And West has it as they head right to left. Mahalski, Adrian, back out to Mahalski. Adrian, baseline, inside. Back to Clawson. Here's a shot, two points for Dave Bagby. Well, they kind of let him alone there, and he canned it from 15. Back to seven point difference, 30-23. Lots of time left. We're just inside four minutes, 14 minutes left in this one. Pass, baseline, Kornberger, Lassert, Keefe. Keefe penetrates, far side Lassert. They like to get the ball of Lassert, and this time he misses the little jumper though from the baseline. Rebound Warriors. They're just kind of hanging around here. Pass underneath, Clawson has a little post move there for a bucket, but he threw it outside instead. Adrian. McCuckin. Penetration, Mahalski. McCookin. West taking their time. Outside the defense right now. Baseline, short jumper, overlays, rebound, yes. For Dave Bagby on the missed shot by McCookin. So, West within five. Biggest lead for East tonight's been nine. West's biggest lead, I think, was one, and that was early. Maybe three. They maybe hit the first basket of three or something early, but that's been, that's been it. They've been trailing. Here's a three, and it's good. Now what? They wave it off. Doesn't count. And the reason? Well, they didn't post anything on the board, so it had to be some kind of a turnover, not a foul. Kenny Smith is coming in for East, number 23. West taking their time. Clawson backs out, baseline. East, they're playing a man to man, but they are really uh, backing off. 
covering that middle. West has had trouble all night long getting in tight for good shots. East with the ball, back in play, 12 minutes left in this one. Pass inside, working for a shot. Krieger, Krieger will go to the free throw line, I believe, for a couple of free throws here. The foul is on uh, number five, Brett Feck, Jr. Oh, well, that goes to uh, Clawson instead. A little uh, late posting up the player and foul on the scoreboard. In and out, no good. Free throw by Krieger, has another one coming. He's a sophomore. Again, in the JV contest here, West beat East by one, 44 to 43. That game was winding down as we walked into the gym this evening. Rebound, Kornberger foul. He'll go shoot a couple of free throws now. And that's where West is at a disadvantage. Not only is East taller, but they have more bulk in Krieger and Kornberger. West just doesn't have that height or bulk to match up with them underneath the basket. So the post play, pretty much controlled by the Lumberjacks. And if there's ever anything here between these two teams, that's it. Free throw missed by Kohnberger. A little hard off the rim. Another one coming up. West with more experience on the floor. As we mentioned, East hasn't played a senior yet tonight. Second shot, good. 31-25, half dozen lead. Inside 12 left, 12 minutes. West, down to our left. Number 24 is Nick Adrian. Now he, skip pass near side. Dave Bagby, inside. Now they go back out, long three for McCuckin, it's good. And that's a three-point ball game. West coming back. They are coming back. Down by nine in the first half. He sets it up. Ryan Lassert. Up on top, Kohnberger. Baseline, Bookberger. Lassert, nice move. Misses the shot, however. And that was not Lassert, that was key. Rebound West. Mahalski. Underneath, Mahalski, two points. One point ball game. West has now scored six straight within one. They were down 31 24. They're down by one, 31 30. East penetrate all the way down the lane. Shot is blocked, saved by West. They can take the lead. Shot by Bookberger, blocked. Mahalski has it. Baseline. Bagby, shot, no good. Nick Adrian, so East gets it back with a one point lead again. And we go back and forth. We might have two teams that are aching for a win here, but you know what, it's a close, good basketball game. This one off the rim, shot taken by Lassert. West counters on the transition. Back out to Adrian. Baseline, Bagby. Skips out. Adrian, Bagby, to Mahalski. Now they go far side from White. In the corner to Adrian on the other side as they switch. Penetration, Adrian, White. One dribble pass, Mahalski. Mahalski, Logan White, free throw line extended near side. 11 is McCuckin. Three second call or travel. Take your pick on West. So they've had a couple of triumphs, uh, chances here to take the lead, but failed both. And East has it back. Inside. 9.15 left. And East now, 
working against the West. Man to man, they get it into Kronberger, turns around, puts it up, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound West. Transition to the top of the circle, McCucken. Near side, Logan, White. 6 1 freshman. And a starter for the Warriors. Now they go far side, Mahalski. And then Mahalski on the penetration, jump shot is partially blocked, rebound. Oh my gosh. Bagby missed the follow-up, and East retains the one-point lead. East with the ball now. Ryan Keith. Keith and Lassert. They are the ball handlers for them, and this is Bookberger. Bookberger. Free the line. Oh, nice pass to Kronberger. Two points. Kronberger. Post it up. Drop step. Two. Less. Now down by three with the ball and a timeout. Timeout Warriors. They're checking to see if it's a it's a full minute timeout. And in the second half now, it was 23-16 at the half. So East has scored 10 points here in about well, maybe, what, 11 minutes, 10 minutes? And West has outscored them. They have 14. They're within three. It's anybody's ball game right now. West has had a couple of chances to take the lead, and they've missed bunnies or turned it over. <coughs> As you take a look at the stands here, West fans, uh, adults and students on the far side, the visitor, the East pep band performed tonight. And the East student section is down to our right by the East ban uh, bench, the home team bench. <laughs> Warrior adults to our left, and lots of middle school students here tonight. And of course, we have the Riverview Spinners perform as well. All set. Eight minutes left. So we've played 10 of 18. So here we go. West with the ball, down by three. Inbounds, they go to Mahalski backcourt. Mahalski leads for Adrian. Nick Adrian, 5'10", senior, with the ball. Picked up by Lassert. And I think it's off of a Lumberjack out of bounds. West will have an underneath their own basket. Tossing it in will be Clausen. He's a southpaw. Clausen gets it in to Bagby. Back out on top. McCucken. Mahalski in the corner. Mahalski for three to tie it and does. This is a tie ball game. 33 apiece with seven and a half minutes left. East. Had a, their biggest lead was nine in the first half. They led by seven at the half. West has come back. <laughs> There's a ball flipped out of the hands of Bookberger. Layup West. Oh, and he misses the shot. The layup missed. By McCucken. Whoa. A <laughs> little physical. Clawson gets the foul. He knows it. On the line now. No, not a bonus yet. It'll be inbounds east. And they set it up now. And their inbounds, they've had practice on this tonight. This is about the eighth time they've put the ball and play underneath their own basket. They go high, and it's stolen. Stolen by McCucken. McCucken in the forecourt. Now pulls it back out. Now they swing it near side. Adrian to Bagby. Here's a three by Clawson off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound. We're going to get a foul. One of the Lumberjacks. It'll be West ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Clawson again will toss it in. And he gets it in. Turn around McCucken. And off the back of the rim. Now who gets the foul? Well, it's going to go the other way now. And Clawson gets the foul. 
So what happened on that one for Clawson, Brandon Clawson, tossed the ball in bounds, went for the rebound, and committed the foul on the process. So, six fouls on West, five on East, getting close to the bonus for both teams. Game tied, six and a half left. East with the ball, pass underneath to Bagby, or not Bagby, but Krieger. Krieger, and they spin it over to Lassert, three points. Ryan Lassert. He's got the rhythm on that three. He has confidence in you know, pretty much the same release. Here's a three by Mahalski off the back of the rim. A little long, no good. Rebound, Lumberjacks. Um, Krieger with a rebound, one of the leading rebounders in the conference. Pass underneath, Kronberger, foul on Clawson, I think. Nope. It's going to go the other way. Okay, it's on uh, number 22. Forrest Kronberger, apparently he pushed off early in that one before he got the ball. So, now it's right to left, Warriors. Down by three, miscommunication, miscommunication. Back over to East, Trey Bookberger. Keefe, skip pass, insert, out on top, Bagby, Keefe, insert, Bagby, three, good, insert. Well, he's the difference with his threes, Ryan Keefe. Giving it off to Ryan Lassert. Turnover West. All of a sudden, East after West tied them. Now up by six, timeout Warriors. Full timeout West. Well, Ryan Lassert, we said, was the difference. In the second half, he has 13 points. He has... Yeah, 13 points, three threes and a couple of twos. He's got four threes tonight. He's one of the leading three-point shooters in the conference. On the other side, the visiting Warriors, Mahalski was the big three for them in that first game that they won by a couple. He has one three tonight and five tries. So the East defensive strategy was to take care of him, and they've done that. They really have. And then, on the other hand, West has not been able to get it inside consistently against the Lumberjacks' size and weight. We might add advantage. Well, plenty of time left. Six-point lead for East. They've scored the last six points in the game. And they have the basketball in the backcourt with 5.18 left. Lassert with 20 points. Leading scorer, leading for West, is Nick Adrian with eight. Mahalski has seven. Here's a steal. West on the breakaway inside. Off the, misses the glass. My goodness. They have missed four straight bunnies since tying the game. And that was, you know, a, a shot that he even used the glass like he should. Now well, we got a foul somewhere. That's going to be a bonus for Lacert now, as the foul is called on McCucken. And Lacert gets the roll. He's kind of taken over the game in the second half for East. After West came back to tie it at 33, they've scored seven straight. <clears throat> and his second one is also good. He has 22 to his credit. West, all of a sudden, down by eight. Let's see if they can run a string themselves. Mikulski, near side. Adrian, 
Clawson. They've got their starters out there. Mahulski on the penetration. Adrian from way out, hits the three. Finally, the Warriors broke that run for East. Back within five. Keefe, forecourt, West. Back on defense. And a one-on-one, here's a long three by Lassert. It's another one. <coughs> He's taken over. 25 points. Pass inside. Back out to Mahalski for three. Oh, it rims out, rebound. Off the floor, pulled away from Bagby, taken by East. Now with under four minutes left, an eight point lead. Boy, West has had their, their chances inside here in the second half. They just have not. And Bookberger takes it to the rim and puts it in. And now it's a 10 point lead. And a little hook shot and a foul. Going to the line for West will be Dave Bagby, their senior. East has outscored West 13 to three in the last three minutes. 13 to three. Timeout Lumberjacks. A 30 second timeout. No, it's gonna be on West, not, not East. Time out of West. Well, it was 33-33, and West has had chances since. They just missed easy shots. And Lassert, Ryan Lassert, the junior, has found his touch here in the second half on threes. So he has over half of the East points. He's got 25 out of the 46. <clears throat> Leading scorer is Adrian for West. Nick has uh, 11. But now these free throws are critical <coughs> for West if they want to come back. They won at West at the field house right after the holidays by a couple points over East. That's their lone victory in the Valley this year. East looking for their first W. They are three and 16 overall. Three and 14, shouldn't say six, three and 14. So he hits one, so now it's a nine point ball game. East had their biggest lead of the night, 10 points here just seconds ago. Quickly in the forecourt, Lassert. Flips it over to Bookberger. Bookberger on the penetration. Pass to Kronberger, two points. Kronberger with a nice drop step to the bucket. And now, it's an 11 point lead. Mahalski's shot is off the rim, out of bounds to East. It bounced high and I think it hit the wire above. No, it's a foul. It's gonna be a bonus throw. Foul was on Drew Schock. And a bonus now for Lassert, who just hit a couple a moment ago. And this is his game tonight, there's no doubt about that. They're up by a dozen, the biggest lead. 3.04 or left. Three minutes ago, we were tied. A little over three minutes ago, it was 33-33. And now it's 54, uh, 50, 37. Home court advantage, I'm not sure, but here's a long three by Adrian and it's good. Adrian, Nick Adrian, their leading scorer with 14. Timeout now West. Down by 10, 256 left. Not over, but an uphill battle for a team that doesn't score a lot. Yeah, Ryan Lassert, 27 points. He is four for four from the free throw line. Forrest Kornberger for East is one of two. Um, Gabe Krieger missed his lone free throw try. Not a lot of free throws tonight. They didn't get to the bonus in the first half. Either team just barely into the bonus. And in the second half for Wausau West, uh, Brandon Clausen one of two from the line. Logan White two for two. 
and uh, Dave Bagley one of two. So they haven't been to the line, either team. It's not a free throw game. This is a threes <laughs> game right now, with the difference being Ryan Lassert. And little baby hook is good by Thornberger back in action. And East just taking over. Looking for their first Valley win, their fourth win on the year. They're up by 12. Two and a half minutes left. West moving around, trying to get a shot off. Penetration, bounce pass, stolen. Baseline pass pulled out of there by Lassert. Over to Bookberger. Bookberger, baseline, stepped out of bounds. No. It's going to be a foul. Boy, he straddled that line there beautifully. And the foul is on McCucken. And uh, bonus throw for Trey Bookberger. And his first run is good. Got the shooter's roll. Second one also good. Well, Ryan Lassert, the top three-point shooter in the Valley in terms of percentage, has shown why here in the second half tonight. As he's taken over this ball game by hitting threes. Here's a three by Adrian, and he hits another one. But uh, Nick Adrian's trying to keep West in the game with threes here lately. But they're still down by 11 with under two minutes left. And East now pulling it out a little bit. Going to use up some clock. This is Bookberger. Bookberger guarded by Shock. Drew Shock. Now they play catch. And set it up. The cert layup. Left hand. No good. Rebound Mahalski. Warriors need something and they need it now. And Mahalski's pass tipped back to him. Now they go out on top. And Mahalski takes a three. Front of the rim. No good. Rebound East. Keith up to Bookberger from Lassert. And this one's getting close for Wausau East, their first Valley win of the year. And Lassert will go on the line and shoot in a double bonus. As the foul is called on McCookman. Double bonus for Lassert, who is four for four from the line here in the late going and make it five for five Ryan Lassert you watch him shoot he shoots with confidence he's not doubting whether he should take a shot or you know that kind of thing he just backs out of there and moves on 56-43 Here's a long shot by Adrian Mist. Now we're under a minute left. East is going to go with their first Valley win. East and West. Here's a steal by the Warriors. This is Dave Bagby. Pulls up. Cross-court pass. A three. McCucken. No good. Rebound East. 30 seconds left. These two teams have split. And their only Valley wins... There's a easy layup for Gabe Krieger. Nice speed by Booker and a serve. 58-43. We were tied at 33. And a long three off the back of the rim. No good. Bissell with 10 seconds left. So, Wausau West will drop to 3-15. One and nine in the valley. East will go to one and eight in the valley and two and 15 overall. They still have four and five games in the regular season to uh, work on some things and get ready for tournament play. First free throw is long, no good. Couple of changes for East. 
Coming in, Nick Peterson, Nathan Rodman. Free throw good. So, with 10 seconds left, 58-44. East, just running across the timeline. That will do it. From the East High Gym, the cross on rivalry as East comes back after losing at West by a couple to pull away and to beat Wausau West by a final of 58 to 44. The game was tied at 33 with about six minutes left. And from there, East outscored West by 25 to 11 to pull away for the victory. We got to improve. And we got to improve on things we just did, and that is not miss the first three. This is Brett Peck. All the way in, leaves it nicely. Pulling up, short shot, good. 